person. So a lot of things are going to go on when you set the stuff up under Gmail. You're going to be in settings for Gmail and you're going to be in safety. Now inside of that at the bottom you're going to see something called spoofing and authentication. For most of us this is going to be something that's turned on all the time. Right, it's just a thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna have our domain spoofing on, our spoofing of employee names on, inbound email spoofing, unauthenticated emails, groups, and then apply future recommended settings automatically. Those future recommended settings are gonna come straight from Google, right? But this is kind of where you start going into SPF, spoofing and authentication. Now there's another step that you can take, and that is defining your SPF record inside of Google. Now they actually have a whole process for setting this up. Now most of us, if we're just using Google Workspace, are going to have v equals SPF1 include underscore SPF.google.com for everybody. Now you can also limit things down to IP addresses. So if you just wanted to do for a particular range of senders, email exchanges for this process, you can do it for that. You can do and include other domains along the way. It just all depends on how you want to set all this stuff up. Now, a lot of people are probably like going, but wait, this is a private domain. Yes, it is. So if you have stuff on the internal network and it's going to go through this way, you can do that. These are all valid SPFs. But if you're going to add your SPF record at your provider, now you need to go into DNS and you need to go into DNS at your provider. We'll do that here in a minute. And they want you to do for host type is going to be the at symbol. And then we're going to copy that, right? Because this is what I'm going to put in to that host record. And it's just going to be text. So when I go over to my provider here and I'm in my DNS, I can go add record. I can do a text record, right? And it's just going to be host is going to be at. And then the text value is going to be that. So at everybody for this, SPF include Google all. Right now, make sure that that actually is the right one for this, right? Minus, that's a tilde, right? So just make sure that it's actually a tilde, right? And you want to make sure that that's actually a tilde here, and you're good. And then you just add the record. And then that will then give you the ability to have spoofing all set up. So you have SPF originated and set up for your file. Again, it's going to propagate now, right? Um, and go all the way through the process. But SPF has to be done this way. It has to be done inside of your posting provider for what you're doing here to make it actually work. But it's really straightforward once you got it, right? And then that will go back into your trust and safety here. And then you're all set. And you have now set up SPF. You've set up anti-spammy spamming, and you're set. And that's really what's kind of really cool about the whole process. So that's how you set up SPF, spam prevention. You're good. All right, I'll see you in the next lecture.